So, Dr. Gardner, frequently the patients are asking me, what can I expect after an episode of pancreatitis, even if it's mild or severe? What do you tend to tell the patient, and particularly the family members? Well, I think it depends a little bit on how severe their attack of pancreatitis was. Patients who have mild pancreatitis in the hospital for a week or so, I typically tell them, you should expect to have absolutely no problems uh, from this episode. It should completely resolve. You should not have any problems with damage to your pancreas. And as long as we can find the cause and take care of it, you shouldn't have any problems in the future. However, those patients who have more of a severe attack, they may have some necrosis, which is death of the pancreas as a result of acute pancreatitis, those patients are more likely to have a problem. For example, they can develop such severe damage to the pancreas that they can develop EPI or exogen pancreatic insufficiency, and they may not be able to digest their food very well mm -hmm. and may need to have pancreatic enzyme replacement. Other patients may actually develop diabetes as a result of such a severe attack where their body cannot make enough insulin, and that can be a result. Again, these are just from severe attacks of pancreatitis. Sometimes patients will have such a severe attack that they develop problems, local problems, where they have blood clots around their pancreas. There can be large areas of pancreas that are not draining very well, for example, and they may need to have surgical interventions or endoscopic interventions uh, where we do uh, procedures with, with the endoscope. Um, that can occur, but those, again, are just in the context of very severe pancreatitis. The vast majority of patients who have pancreatitis should never have a problem again as long as we can go ahead and treat uh, the underlying cause.